So in this week's Photoshop design tutorial, I'll be showing you how to design fashion Instagram stories in Photoshop. So hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny as always and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to do a very simple design in Photoshop. We're going to do some fashion-y Instagram stories in Photoshop. So yeah, let's get right away going. You guys can already see here on the screen four examples that I have added here and created. I will not replicate all four of these examples because they are pretty much the same. We're going to work on the last one here at the back which you can see over here. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that and you can use all the same methods to copy paste all it to other designs or alternatively also you can go to the Tronics Design Media Package it's linked all down below in the description it's $4.99 a month where you can download all of these plus more as PSDs and you get the full design folder basically the layered PSD file from me and you can just get going just accept the pictures and the fonts are not included in the, the PSD because I cannot sell these to you but I've linked also websites where you can get these fonts for free so yeah guys let's get right away into it and I'll start with the first design design. Okay, so for those of you who are here every week, you know about this already, how to start a Instagram story canvas size. For those who are new, simply go to file, new, and select here under saved. You just select Instagram stories, the preset. But wait a second, you don't have that. So yeah, go on the channel, have a look. There's a tutorial where I teach you exactly how to set this up and how to get to this stage. So you have also a nice clean canvas over here. Okay, let's double click here on the right hand side. We're just gonna unlock this. And I'm also gonna write here just quickly background. So obviously we had that already, but I just unlocked it, great. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and show you guys now, first of all, how to get into this and start it. Now the next step is to add a brush stroke to this. So you can either use the brush or drag in a PNG layer. So basically you can see here is a proper PNG layer that I've created with a brush stroke. So if you don't have the brush, you can also use these PNGs in order to get the same effect. Now, if you don't have this, also have a look again in the Tronics Design Media Package. I added about 21 different designs for you guys. So you can just download them and use them right away here in your PSD file. Or alternatively, again, download the PSD. Okay, great, that's the first step. It's still a smart object as you guys can see here. Up next, we have to add the image to this. Okay, I'm just gonna drag in an image from the desktop. You can obviously use whatever you have as well, as well that is available to you. I'm just gonna drag this a little bit down, hold shift on the keyboard and take this anchor point over here and just let it expand a bit so it's evenly expanding and going to put that a little bit into place here. Let me also go a little bit down again, okay, because it is a little bit too big, like so. I'm gonna hit enter on the keyboard and right away that will be clipped here. So have a nice, great size. Maybe it looks a bit too big still. Remember, this is also a smart object, so I can resize it a bit bigger, a bit smaller. It will not corrupt my image here. What is going on? It does not want to work. Okay, great, we've got that. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit more so we can just see things a bit better. Okay, like so I'm happy with that. So first of all, you can make your basically your sizing, your resizing, but it's not too important because the next step will determine if you resize it correctly or not. So let's hold Alt on the keyboard, Alt, and then you go between the layers here and you will see this little arrow appear. Let's have a look again, a little arrow, you just click on it and right away, this image layer will clip right away to the brush stroke layer. So now you can just take the move tool and obviously just move this around and look how awesome this is. The stroke goes directly just with the image. So you can already position it in the right way you want it to be. Great, so I'm gonna position it roughly over here and now I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. I wanna start right away with the text. Okay, for the text, first of all, I'm gonna T, press T again on the keyboard to get into the text tool here. I'm gonna make a nice big selection and we're gonna start out with summer. Okay, select summer over here. I'm gonna select right away a new font for this. It's gonna be Monsterrat, Mozzerat. I really struggle with that font, I don't know why. But anyways, you guys can find this also down below in the description. I've linked the name and everything for you guys so you know how and what it is called. I'm gonna select here instead of extra bold, I'm gonna to go to black so it's nice and thick. I'm gonna give this a size of about, let's have a look here, like 25, maybe even bigger, 25. Let's have a look again if I just select it. 25, so it's nice and big, maybe even 
30, you know, let's actually stay with 25 for now. Then let's also select a different color. I can either go with black, but I feel black is so intense for this fashion-y look. So I'm gonna go a little bit with something a bit more dark grayish. Okay, something over here. You guys can also get my values over here or try this a little bit. I'm gonna hit okay. And let's head over to the tracking. So for the tracking, I would like to go with like 100. Ah, it's a little bit too much for me. So I'll go down to like 40. Okay, hit enter, accept that. Take V for the move tool. And I'm literally just gonna place it somewhere over here for now. And again, we're gonna do the same effect. T on the keyboard, make a nice selection. And we're just gonna write here, sale. Or whatever it is, sale or spring, or whatever you wanna write. I'm gonna write sale. And also go with a new font here. This one is called Glot Script Personal Use Only. So please be sure that you check those uh, regulations out there and the licenses when you get that font. Uh, down below in the description, I've linked it for you guys. Okay, select that. I'm also going to choose a regular here. And let's have a look how big we're going to do this. Mm, a little bit bigger, I think like 40, 41. That's great. And tracking should be maybe zero because I don't want to have any spacing between the le le letters here. You'll see it, nah, it looks not too good. Okay, I'm gonna accept that. Take the move tool and literally move that just a little bit over. I'm also taking my cursors here. Move that a bit left and right. And I feel, yeah, instead of leaving this dark, let's select it again and give this also a pink color here. So maybe it just matches a little bit the design over here. Great, that looks cool. Next step, again, I want to write a big text, maybe a lorem lipsum text, something big that we can use. Um, for that, I will be using, I think, that monster rut font again. So we just stay with one font. Let's also just take that whole, I'm gonna move back to monster rut. I'm also gonna go to medium. Okay, select that. And for the size, I'm gonna go with like eight, seven or eight, let's, let's see how that goes. Seven, I'm also gonna choose again the gray color here, the dark gray, hit okay. And right away I've copied this from the internet. You'll find this mostly with uh, like website presets and stuff. And if you just type it into Google, it will pop up. Okay, right away I see a problem here. I like the spacing and the font size with eight. I also want the tracking to be zero, but at the moment I see one problem. First of all, I need to clip this to the right hand side so my paragraph is aligned to the right side. So let's do that. And then I'm gonna take my selection here and just make it a bit smaller so we can space that into the white line. But I don't like that my last words is uh, placed here at the last, like the last word here. I want to at least keep four or five words next to each other. I'm gonna press enter, move that a little bit down like so. I'm gonna take now summer and sail. You know what, actually the spacing we can do towards the end and just the realigning of things. Let's rather continue. I'm gonna make another big selection here and I'm just gonna write now, perhaps that might be like a button or something. It might say your site or it might be your brand name, whatever you like, you can place in there. So I'm gonna write here www and dot. You know what, I'm gonna just redo this again because I first wanna select the right font. I'm gonna go with Mazda Ruts as well, with medium as well. Let's go with like a text of seven or eight. I'm gonna choose a different color here. Okay, and I'm gonna write here www, and all in capital letters, please, as well, your site.com. That could be obviously your website then. Okay, I think I'm gonna place that now for the moment here. And now we're just gonna go to the marking tool, to the elliptic and marking tool, or rectangular one, actually. I'm gonna create a new empty layer, move that all the way to the top, and just make a big selection over here, like so. And going to right click inside of that selection and just say fill. And I'm going to fill it up also with color, but this time also the dark gray, not black. So that suits each other again. Hit OK and press Command D, get out of the selection. Again, guys, I'm using a, window, a Mac computer here. So if you're a Windows user, please press Control when I say Command. OK, so take this text now, yoursite.com, and move that all the way to the top. So it's obviously on top of that text layer or basically that object layer, sorry. And I'm going to select the whole text of yoursite.com, move it over to a white foreground color, hit OK and select. And da-da, right away it looks like a little button over here. Obviously that will not be a button on Instagram stories, but it's kind of cool and represents your website here. Now, next step I still want to do is select all of that, the same text here, yoursite.com, and just press Command J, duplicate that layer. 
Let's move it all the way to the top here. Now that we can see it, I'm going to select it, first of all, and give this the same gray color as we had before. Okay, like so. I'm going to hit OK. And here you could maybe put your brand. So for currently, I'm just going to write your brand name. Great. Select all of that. I'm going to give that a tracking of, I guess, like 200 or so. Let's have a look. 300, 200. I think 200 is actually fine. I'm going to hit enter there and just hold shift on the keyboard now. And I'm going to go closer to my box here so I can rotate this. You will see here is a little rotate arm. And if you hold shift, it will equally rotate again. Let me just do that. Okay. And we'll just rotate this and hold shift. So it is clipping to 180. Okay. And I'm literally just going to take that all over here. And I feel I can still do that a bit bigger. So first of all, I'm going to switch this to like eight. Okay. And let's go with like 300 tracking. Yeah, that's great. Okay. And then I'm going to move that just over here and da da, there we go. Almost completed. Now, last step that I still want to do is take some guides down here. So for those who are here every week, you know about the rulers already. For those who don't have a ruler, just go to view and select the ruler over here. So you can select the move tool and basically go down here, select a guideline and just place that right over here. And I want to take now summer and sail and move that a little bit over. So let's select the summer and sail layer. And I'm just going to move that slightly over. Okay. Like so maybe I'm going to leave that. I actually really like the S's going over this. So I'm going to take the lorem text and move that a little bit over. Great. And again, my guideline here. And now I'm a bit distracted by this. So final step I'm just going to do is take the brush stroke layer and just move that a tiny tad over. Press Command T in order to get into the transform mode. I'm going to hold Shift, take the anchor point here at the top and just going to make that a bit, bit bigger. Hit OK and move that over slightly. Again, Control if you're working with a Windows computer. OK, great. Down here, let's have a look this. We're also going to space here and I'm happy with that. Maybe I'll move it just a slight bit up and there we go. So yeah, guys, that's how you quickly create one of the Instagram story designs. I'm not going to show now all the designs because I don't want to waste your time. It's pretty much the same methods. We're going to use the same fonts and the same styles. You can choose your own colors the way you like and obviously your images here and maybe add your brand name instead of saying the your brand name. So yeah, guys, that's basically it for this week's Photoshop tutorial. Thanks again for watching. Do have a look down below in the description is a link to the Tronics Design Media Package. You get all the PSDs, all my brushes, everything you need to create these designs. And then as well, do give me a thumbs up if you like this content. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of these videos on how I can improve. And yeah, thanks again, guys. I'll see you all in the next tutorial. See ya!